I began just doing this. I, I was in Las Vegas on a film job. And I met this old couple and I made a photo and I wrote a little story and I emailed it around and I got a really strong response. And so then I did another one and another one and it just started turning into something. This is like in 2002. And um, then I would send around uh, some big movie poster that I shot. And uh, the response was something that like, well, nice poster, but we like the stories better. Jump back about 10 years in the early 90s, I had just ended a relationship. I was kind of looking for something to do. So I became a volunteer in an AIDS hospice out in LA. And I met an artist who was HIV positive, and in her artist statement, she said, the more personal my expression, the more universal it's meaning. In other words, like a lot of times in Hollywood, they try to put together formulas from the outside in, but her message was just be personal, just come from your heart, and people will connect with it. When I first started this, also I uh, began dealing with this illness that I have, and so I haven't really been able to do as much as I want with it. I actually met Brandon Stanton. Uh, he was speaking here a couple of weeks ago, and I invited him to come and see my show. We met, we hung out, and it was kind of great. You know, I, I didn't want to be the only one doing this. Like, I want a lot of people all over the world to do this because it really encourages, it, it kind of just fosters people focusing their attention on goodness, you know, and kindness. So I'm really glad that he's doing what he's doing. I'm glad that it took off. So he doesn't now more of his approach is like he doesn't name the people or kind of, and he doesn't really interject himself in it. He kind of just lets them do the speaking. It's totally objective. But it's good. I mean it's really good. It's, it's a different approach. Yeah. yeah, it's a different approach, but it's kind of the same thing. Yeah.